live from downtown Spokane. This is 4 News Now, special edition. The annual Lilac Torchlight Parade in downtown Spokane was put on pause and rerouted last night after a shooting in a convenience store along the route. Good afternoon, it's 4.30, I'm Jordan Smith. Thanks for joining us here on a special edition of 4 News Now. Spokane police say the shooting happened just before 9 p.m. towards the end of the parade. One person was shot, another was injured, and both were taken to the hospital. SPD says that they're unable to release any information regarding what happened or the suspect in order to protect the investigation. Hunter Bertram joined us in studio with more on the series of events that extinguished the torchlight parade. Hunter. Jordan, on Saturday, families cheered on floats, on floats as they passed by, enjoying their evening. And then rumors of a violent incident flooded through the crowds. Now, if you take a look behind me, you'll see a map of the parade route. And right here is where the shooting occurred inside a convenience store, PM Jacoys. Earlier today, I went to the store where I found blood splattered on the sidewalk. An evening of celebration turned bloody in downtown Spokane. The streets after a parade are usually lined with confetti or garbage. Today, this sidewalk is covered in blood and crime scene markers. Amazing, I was like dancing with my daughter and we're, you know, laughing and joking around and it's just, it was so quick, like how everything can change in a matter of seconds. Kurt watched the parade near the convenience store, cheering on his daughter as she passed through this intersection with her high school's marching band. And then he heard this. There's like this miscommunication with a knife, someone getting stabbed, and everyone's like, oh, I could outrun a knife, you know? <laughs> but the bullets are a different story. It's he like told me there wasn't much of a panic throughout the crowd, saying no one knew what was happening. Yet despite he and his daughter being separated as the incident took place... I knew she was in good hands because, you know, all the faculty was there, and, I mean, there is so many... The Spokane's police department. According to SPD, officers responded to the incident within seconds, securing the scene and keeping pedestrians calm. I knew that there would be a quick response to whatever was going down. And Even though this untimely incident put a damper on the parade, officials and law enforcement came up with a new plan, allowing the parade to finish what it started, honoring the veterans in our lives. The convenience store did reopen this afternoon, and we know that Spokane Police Major Crimes Unit is investigating the shooting. We'll have more information as it comes available online at KXLY.com. Live in studio, Hunter Bertram, 4 News Now. All right, Hunter, thanks for that. The Spokane Lilac Festival Association released this statement from its co-president explaining how first responders worked to re reroute the parade so the remaining floats could still have their moment. It reads in part, quote, we'd like to thank everyone who stayed to support those participants. And Mayor Lisa Brown released this statement late last night, reading in part, quote, my thoughts are with those who were injured, their families, and all those who witnessed this incident. Violence like this should never happen, especially near a place where families are gathered to enjoy a community event. A man is in critical condition after crashing into a power pole this morning. According to Kootenai County Sheriff's Office, Richard Landsidel was driving east on Garwood Road when he veered off the road and into the pole. Deputies say Landsidel was the only person in the car that found him unresponsive where he was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. He is now stable but in critical condition. The Sheriff's Office says they don't know the cause of the crash at this point. Today is your last chance to sign up for a guaranteed spot in this year's Hoop Fest. So if you already have your squad, today's the day to sign up for the world's largest three-on-three -three basketball tournament. Beginning Monday, the 20th, teams will only be accepted on a space-needed basis. That's until June 2nd, when registration goes up to $20. We made it easy for you to sign up. Sign up rather. Just click on the link ready for you on KXOY.com. Meteorologist Matt Gray joined us. Matt, we've had a little bit of everything today, some <laughs> sunshine and some rain. And we might hear some thunder, too, in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene before the evening is over. Hi, everybody. We've got wet weather spewed across our area. Mostly it is just 
brief periods of light rain, but we did have a band of heavier showers move through Spokane earlier today, and we've got some thunderstorms now developing in Stevens County and in northern Spokane County. So you can see them at the top here around the Deer Park area all the way north to Chewila. We've got some other isolated storms kind of surrounding that, but you can see over the last half hour or over the last hour rather, they're moving very slowly from the northwest to the southeast. Pretty slow at about 15 miles an hour. So once they show up, they're going to stick around for a little while. It's exactly what we are seeing here in the Springdale and Loon Lake areas. So if you know some folks around Loon Lake, it's time to get inside now. It probably was five minutes ago as those skies began to darken. Deer Lake as well, getting the brunt of the wet weather and the thunder and lightning right now. This is all going to basically track right down Highway 395 into the Deer Park area where we've had other showers now starting to build. And we will likely hear some thunder in North Spokane County sooner rather than later. All of this going to continue to slide to the south towards places like Chatteroy, the Peon Prairie, Green Bluff area as well over the next 30 to 40 minutes. That is the immediate future coming up. I'm going to be showing you where this is going to be headed next and we've got more wet weather on the way and that includes folks in North Idaho as well with showers around Priest Lake. So more tracking on the radar coming up. All right, Matt. Thanks for that. Spokane City Council member Jonathan Bingle is calling on Mayor Lisa Brown and other council members to join him in condemning, quote, violent anti-Semitic rhetoric at city council meetings. According to council member Bingle, the rhetoric has been a, quote, troubling presence at city council meetings since the October 7th terrorist attacks. His statement went on to say, I want to thank the mayor and city council members for standing against acts of hate in the city. Now it's time to stand against the most frequent hateful rhetoric in the city and call on those at city council meetings to end their disturbing campaign against Israel. I think you missed it. This plane had to make an emergency landing on the North Spokane corridor Saturday afternoon. That video is of the plane taking off after causing quite the scene. The plane landed just before 1 p.m. and was back in the sky by about 3. Inside was a, tra was a trainee pilot who owns the aircraft and an instructor. The pair took off from Feltz Field Airport. Mid-flight, they thought they had run out of fuel, prompting them to make an emergency landing. They had planned to land in a nearby field, but the engine shut off, forcing them to land on the highway because of a lack of altitude. Turns out there was a second fuel tank on that plane that they were unaware of, which had plenty of fuel in the tank. Fortunately, no one was injured during this incident. Washington State Patrol says this was the best case scenario and gave kudos to both the pilots. Coincidentally, this new section of the North Spokane corridor is closing for some repairs tomorrow. So if that's part of your commute, listen up here. The Department of Transportation will be closing all southbound lanes between the Freya Street and Wellesley Avenue interchanges. It'll close at 7 a.m. and reopen around 4 in the afternoon. During this time, crews will survey and restripe the roadway. This work is unrelated to that plane that landed on the highway yesterday. The disc golf course at Riverside Park is now open with an entirely new design and new name. Go for a ride on the Air Force drone with us over Whitewater Disc Golf Course in this week's Air Force Adventure. Coming up after the break. Download the KXLY Plus app on your connected TV. Diamonds and Dreams is proudly sponsored by Chipman & Taylor Chevrolet in Pullman. We want your furniture. During our spring cleaning sale, bring in or send us photos of furniture you no longer want. And if it's in good condition, we'll consign it for you. Plus, give you an additional 20% off your next purchase. Consign furniture. Easy way to sell, smart way to buy. Bonpas Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to... Need inspiration? Shop Fred Meyer. For over 30,000 mouth-watering choices. Plus, savings like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump. Fred Meyer is worth it every time. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. Who has the deals? Furniture Row! Who has the deals? Furniture Row! This Memorial Day, we've been training. Prepping for savings so big, they're getting backed in by the truckload. The more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks for every thousand you spend. Check out doorbusters while they last. And financing? We're talking six years, no interest. But I want to know. 
do you have the guts to save like never before? The Memorial Day Super Sale, only at Furniture Row. Every life lost to an opioid overdose is a big deal, especially to the friends, families, and communities left behind. But one small act can make a big difference. Naloxone, or Narcan, can reverse an overdose from opioids, including fentanyl. Almost every time it's used, Naloxone saves a life. When they carry and use Naloxone, friends save friends, brothers save sisters, parents save their kids. And that's huge. Find Naloxone and learn how to use it at wafriendsforlife.org. We want your furniture. During our spring cleaning sale, bring in or send us photos of furniture you no longer want. And if it's in good condition, we'll consign it for you. Plus, give you an additional 20% off your next purchase. Consign furniture. Easy way to sell, smart way to buy. The disc golf course at Riverside State Park is now open with an entirely new design and a new name. Let's go for a ride on the Air Force drone over a whitewater disc, disc golf course in this week's Air Force adventure. Whitewater Disc Golf Course. Uh, used to be called Downriver, but they changed the name to uh, help facilitate the difference between the disc golf course and the golf course. It's fun. For one thing, it's easy, it's entry level. Uh, you can have one disc and have fun. And then if you get obsessed, obviously you'll end up with a backpack full of discs like the rest of us. This is a difficult course, yes. I, I believe, we've only played it a couple times, but this course actually has a way of being played easy and a way of being played hard. So the people that designed it kind of allow you to have options. You can play a shorter hole, you can play a longer hole in many circumstances. It's a lot easier than golf and you can get good faster, but it's very similar. So the putter is more of a round edge and the driver is more sharp, so it cuts through the wind and the air better, so it just makes it easier to throw further, but it's a lot harder to control. Putters right here, I got my mid-ranges, uh, I have some fairway drivers over here, some distance drivers on the sides and right here in the middle. And uh, these are the putters that I put with. I like being outside and playing with friends and family. And I'm very competitive, so I love playing tournaments. It was at Junior Worlds last year in Illinois. There was like 60-something people got 36th. It was really fun, really nice experience. I like being and like seeing like all the animals and the birds and just the noises and being down by the water. It's fun. You're outside in the woods. You're not on your phone. You're not scrolling. You're not swiping. You are in nature with your family, with your friends, and nothing better than that. Heck of a place to check out, weather permitting. To see even more Air Force, Head to KXLY.com. And the sun is shining once again after we saw a little bit of rain, actually a good dose of rain in Spokane. And I think there is more on the way. The sunshine just setting us up for more action later on this evening. Certainly, we've got some action to the north of Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. We've got a couple of thunderstorms around the Priest Lake area. We also have a kind of cluster of developing thunderstorms between Chihuahua and Deer Park and basically right over the Loon Lake area right now. So we take a little bit of a zoom in. This is the strongest thunderstorm we've got in the region right now, basically right over Loon Lake. And this also has a history of producing hail. Likely we saw some small hail around the Grays and Springdale area. And once again, this is going to move right down 395 towards Deer Park within the next 30 minutes or so, as long as it holds together, which so far, these bigger storms have held together a little bit longer than some of the smaller uh, cells have so far this afternoon and early this evening. We've got some rain out ahead of that as well. So already seeing some rain in Deer Park, already getting close uh, in places like Elk. And then we are going to be very shortly, I think, around Green Bluff starting to see some of that rain. You likely see the dark clouds headed in your direction. So with this moving only about 15 miles an hour, assuming all of this kind of holds together with the same general structure, uh, this weather are going to be moving into the 
Spokane area proper on the north side right around 6 o'clock. And we will go between 6 and 7 o'clock likely to have another round of rain and perhaps even some stormy conditions with a few rumbles of thunder, particularly on the north side of town and as you head further north into north Spokane County. And we'll also see some showers moving to Kootenai County in the 6 and 7 o'clock hour. Once we get past 7 o'clock or so, we'll really start to see things begin to ease off once the sun really starts to sink much lower in the sky. Basically, everything is going to lose its energy. These showers and storms, what remains, will fall apart fairly quickly and we'll just have a isolated chance of a sprinkle through about 9 o'clock or so. Chilly night tonight in some areas, so you may want to cover the plants in the garden. Look at this, down to 36 in Ritzville, mid-30s in Colville, mid-30s in Sandpoint. So a good opportunity for frost. Not as worried about that in the urban core, but certainly something to keep in mind. As for tomorrow, yeah, temperatures will be close to 70 degrees, so a little bit warmer, a little bit drier, but not dry completely. We will have a chance for a couple of spotty showers in the afternoon afternoon, especially in the North Idaho Panhandle for that early afternoon time frame, but it will clean up very quickly. Now, this will be the driest day likely of the upcoming week because we have a big system coming in. By the time we get to Tuesday afternoon, the rain is moved in and you're going to need the raincoat for Tuesday and for Wednesday as well. So yeah, enjoy the slightly warmer temperatures that we're going to see tomorrow because they're not going to be sticking around for too long. Highs only in the 50s, a soggy day on Wednesday. Another system coming through for the start of Memorial Day weekend. And I'll have your Memorial Day weekend forecast, the first look coming up tonight on 4 News Now at 11. In the meantime, we will be right back after these messages. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. This Memorial Day at Furniture Row, we're prepping for savings so big, they're backing them in by the truckload. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out doorbusters while they last. Plus six years, no interest. The Memorial Day Super Sale, on now at Furniture Row. Lowe's knows you're kicking off summer hosting, so we're kicking off summer savings. Shop deals for every gathering this Memorial Day and get savings on all the items you need to jumpstart the season. And with the My Lowe's Rewards credit card, you can save 5% every day. Shop now at Lowe's. Did we just get hustled? There's no way they were 70. Interesting. Huh. It's both an electric and a gas car. Yep. Quite the paradox. Hmm. 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 Mm. So JJ's for lunch? Hmm. Electric for short trips, gas for long. It really is both. The Lexus RX plug-in hybrid. And Tresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Aliskiran or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto for heart failure. Novartis may help you save on your prescription. Are you ready for May showers? Showers of cash? That's right, the Kootenai Casino is giving away thousands of dollars to lucky players every single day. And you could be next. We've got super spring deals on spa, food, and room nights. Stay at the Kootenai Falls Lodge midweek starting at just $89. Or upgrade to a Riverview room for $109. Plus a huge Memorial Day and Victoria Day celebration. Don't miss out this May. Book your getaway today. Call 888-YOU-ARE-LUCKY or visit KootenyRiverInn.com. Take advantage of the tax credits you can, including the annual Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. You can get money back on state taxes already paid. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. It's the Memorial Day Super Sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Or check out the Summit for only $299.99, plus six years no interest and free shipping. The Memorial Day Super Sale, on now at Denver Mattress. 4 News Now is brought to you by Northwest Fence Company. Just a block away from the Monroe Bridge, the Post Street Bridge is finally reopening. Construction on extensive repairs began five years ago, a project the city initially estimated to take two years. The one-lane northbound bridge will be open the first week of June, along with the completion of the Gorge Loop Trail through the park and Kendall Yards.
To look at the trail in its entirety, you can check out this story on KXLY.com. Well, we have a busy Sunday afternoon in the sports world. That's going to be capped off by the Spokane Velocity back into action inside one Spokane Stadium. They're going to be taken on Ford Madison FC. And if you remember the last time this team played inside one Spokane Stadium, we were treated to quite the finish as the Velocity scored a game-winning goal in stoppage time against Union Omaha to stay in the hunt for the USL Jägermeister Cup. Now the story headed into tonight is going to be the conditions. It's been been raining off and on throughout the day and that field turf is sure to be slick so I wouldn't expect a very high scoring affair. Now switching over to Major League Baseball, the Seattle Mariners fell in their series finale against the Baltimore Orioles earlier today, but they still maintain a one game lead in the AL West. Next up for them is going to be a trip out to the Bronx to take on the Yankees starting tomorrow afternoon. And coming up at 11 after American Idol, we're going to have full post-game coverage of the Mariners and the Velocity matchups. For now, Jordan, I'll send it back down to you in the studio. All right, Alex, thanks for that. In other sports news, Spokane Public Schools, students, families, and staff are all invited to the next Spokane Velocity game with discounted tickets. This is for the Spokane Public Schools night on Saturday, May 25th. The match starts at 6 p.m. at One Spokane Stadium here in downtown Spokane. The Velocity will be facing the South Carolina Greenville Triumph. For more information on discounted tickets, head to our website, kxy.com. Spokane Community College is offering a summer program for students who want to explore trades. Rising juniors, and seniors, and 2024 graduates can take the two-week workshop to learn the basics in shop construction, safety, professional development, and much more. The program runs from June 20th to July 3rd. They'll meet Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you're interested, again, you can head to our website, kxy.com, for a link to the registration page. History was made today as America's first black astronaut candidate finally made it to space. This morning at 7.30, Ed Dwight also became the oldest person to make the journey. These are the pictures from the launch, the landing, and look at that reaction. Here's ABC's Gio Benitez with how he got to the edge of space after being denied his chance six decades ago. He never made it to space 60 years ago, but that all changes today. Air Force test pilot Ed Dwight was nominated by President John F. Kennedy in 1961 to become the first black astronaut. My hope was just getting into space in any kind of way, but they were not going to let that happen. When Kennedy was assassinated, Dwight's path to space evaporated. Number one, I wasn't tall enough. I was Catholic. I wasn't black enough. I was not the model of the Negro race. I was a one-man operation when the president announced to the world that he was going to announce a black astronaut. This morning, Ed Dwight, now 90 years old, a celebrated sculptor and author, reaching for the stars, launching on Blue Origin's rocket from West Texas. Dwight, along with five fellow travelers, will partake in an 11-minute odyssey that will propel them into the realm of weightlessness. Veteran astronaut Charlie Bolden sending along a special message ahead of Dwight's big day. I want you to just take take some time while you're while you're flying just to suck it all up and take it all in you deserve every moment of this uh, you've been a role model and a mentor for many of us needless to say i am overwhelmed and this opportunity is once in a lifetime that i will cherish for the rest of my life live stream kxly plus on the four news now app this is the all-new Tempur-Pedic Adapt Mattress, and we designed it to help make aches and pains a thing of the past. Because our most advanced, infinitely adaptable temper material eases your pressure points inch by inch and molecule by molecule in a way no other mattress can. All night, every night. Save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and get a $300 gift. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Hi, I'm Dean, the owner of Carpet Barn. It's Carpet Barn's Memorial Day LVP sale. Celebrate the weekend by upgrading your home. 
Ditch the dated and dive into the beautiful with Carpet Barn's huge Memorial Day LVP sale. Our exclusive waterproof LVP is as tough as it is beautiful with authentic wood designs that last. And starting at just $1.99 a foot, it's a steal. Visit Carpet Barn this Memorial Day for LVP for just $1.99 a foot. Make your dream home a reality. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing drops user. I want another option. That's it's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Spokane stepped onto the world stage by hosting Expo 74. And Wendell Ford was there celebrating our community spirit. We're still here continuing that legacy started by Kristen's grandfather in 1943. To celebrate, we have some of the best financing and savings we've ever offered. Escape, Bronco, Explorer, and the F-150. Some with 0% for 72 months. Celebrate with us. Wendell Ford at the Y on North Division. Drive for generations. Every life lost on opioid overdose is a big deal, especially to the friends, families, and communities left behind. But one small act can make a big difference. Naloxone or Narcan can reverse an overdose from opioids, including fentanyl. Almost every time it's used, Naloxone saves a life. When they carry and use Naloxone, friends save friends, brothers save sisters, parents save their kids. And that's huge. Find Naloxone and learn how to use it at wafriendsforlife.org. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Women Helping Women Fund. You can call it reformation or redemption. A man who was sentenced to life in prison without parole just walked across the stage to accept his degree from Gonzaga Law School. At the age of 14, Jeremiah Bourgeois shot and killed someone. He thought he would spend the rest of his life behind bars until the pendulum of the law swung in his favor. I happened to just get an opportunity to not die in prison and be able to use the skills that I have in my time to be able to try to change somebody's life. It's a story he's been writing for more than 20 years, using the money he had for commissary to buy books and take classes. Hear how he turned a life sentence into a law degree in Kirsten O'Connor's special report next Tuesday on 4 News Now at 6. And we'll take one more look at the radar before we send you to uh, the American Idol finals here tonight. So we have a couple of thunderstorms trying to develop one just south of Elk and the other one around Loon Lake that's now spreading almost down to the Spokane River. So in Deer Park, you are about 15, 20 minutes away at most. In fact, we have put a timer on this line. So about 13 minutes away in Deer Park, Spokane. For downtown, this looks like it'll roll up at about, oh, 6.05, 6.10 or so, but I'd probably lean on it showing up a little bit earlier than that. Definitely will likely start sprinkling 